Hello and welcome to another map review. We are going to be looking at uh, this map here. It's called Intel in Bavaria and it is, I think it's been around a little while. Um, however, this map is listed uh, by the creators of the Seasons mod that this is a Seasons mod compatible map. So it has been set up to, to work with um, this, this other mod, essentially. Now, we're going to take a look at that um, in the review. So let's just get into the mod section. So we're going to turn Caesars on. Uh, this map actually does have a bunch of required mods, as it were. Um, so um, we'll go through those. Um, it is chop straw compatible. Um, we're going to add these ones because there are normal review mods. It also requires a Castar Food Inc. pack, the Coach Universal pack. Um, we'll turn our Land Rover on. It's for the Castar Food Inc. We need this cattle trailer. We need the cool liner. Um, we also need the station wash, the Kircher um, washer. That um, is by Black Sheep Modding. That's required. Obviously, we've got our um, map here. Uh, there was one other mod. Um, let me just see if I can see it. Oh, yes, we need the animal trailer in this one here as well. So, the version that is listed by the, um, the creators of the Seasons mod um, that is compatible with Seasons is version 3.5. We're looking at version 4.0, which is the latest version I could find. Um, so let's fire up the map. So as a kind of out um, thing, this map is a Gold Crest Far uh, Valley edit. Um, the way I understand it, it's a Gold Crest Valley edit that has been Germanized essentially so it's kind of made to um sort of fit in with a german countryside look and feel a bavarian kind of look um as you'd have seen just fly past in the log there we have a lot of a, um f uh, production on this map i believe um so this could be interesting it's taking a little while to load because there's quite a lot of stuff here Let's check out the error log just to see if there was anything of note. So we've got the sort of standard stuff. We've got fabric script has run through. You can see we've got tons of stuff there. Um, we've got a slurry pit as well. Um, more production, more production, more production. The bakery, we've got a dairy, we've got a slow soya milk plant. Uh, what else? Uh, just going up here, I did see error fill type sausage and error type fill type meat exists so it looks like by adding cast of food ink we have actually uh, duplicated additional map types um so bear that in mind i'm reading i my german is terrible uh, as in non-existent um although it does say it requires this but i'm wondering if it doesn't actually require the mod itself it just requires the additional mods that came with the pack um so watch out for that um let's jump straight in um let's um i'm going to turn on flight mode so we can have a look around from the air course play get rid of that spring spring is here we have things so everything's loaded okay it's dark uh, i'm just going to boost the time so we can um get some daylight here we are on the farm um this is a gold crest edit and it looks very different okay this is a very different look um we already have we can see some of the signs of the seasons mod in the sense that the trees deciduous trees are um kind of a lighter green shade okay so that's fine let's just turn the time back to normal so here we are on the farm um we're kind of looking around um yeah, very different. Okay, let's let's first oops, let's look at the map. So, here is the map. Um, there are some differences in the fields visually. I can tell already 
Um, if memory serves, this field down here is definitely different. Um, if a very memory serves from Goldcrest, um, this is just a plain square field. This has been kind of extended a bit. We have a total of 31 fields on this farm. Actually, no, sorry, I spot 33 over here. Uh, 33 fields. So we've got a good few fields. We start, uh, we have standard fruit types plus we have oats, rye, hops, millet, spelt, and trit uh, triticale. I can never pronounce this. I'm really sorry. I have no idea how to pronounce it. Try to kale. Um, I'm going to say that. Um, we have the fields we own. So we start off with field 12, 14, 15, 19, 31. Yeah, that's all. That is 12, 14, 15, 19, and 31. Those are the starting fields. This is the map, um, as you can see. 31 is, I think, covered in grass. Um, it looks like it's grass, and we'll basically confirm that. Yep, that is grass. So 30, 31 is a grass field, and a big grass field at that. Um, we've got lots of prediction around the map, as you can see, with white uh, the white um, icons. Um, so let's take a look at some of the other stuff. In terms of sale points, we have um, 15 sale points. Now, one of the things that's you know kind of immediately obvious is it's a gold crest edit, but it's been essentially Germanized or, or, or made to kind of change the setting to a Bavarian setting, and all of the sale points have kind of been updated there's no gold cast pacific grain all that kind of stuff we have edica which is a supermarket chain i believe in europe um we have netto which again is a european supermarket chain um i'm trying to think if any of these mcdonald's it could be mcdonald's i guess um yeah so we, they've kind of gone through and they've completely changed the thing in terms of We've got the standard cell fruit types and so on, but we've got meats, we've got the oats, and you know, they actually coloured these, which is kind of a, interesting. Normally they're not coloured. Um, so we've got those. We've got hops in here as well. Uh, we've got cheese. I think that's a milk. We've got beer. We've got... I'm not sure what that one is. We've got compost. Ooh, we've got what looks to be kind of liquor of some kind we've got bread cake we've got flour we've got sugar we've got fruits we've got grapes we've got well, we've got a winery um we've got fish oh interesting we've got again we've got fruits we've got butter yogurt and we've already even got the um the cloth as well so we've got lots of stuff going on um so yes yeah, so there's a lot of stuff oops i actually do want to close that um let's go to the animals we've got no animals to start with we've got a half a million silo capacity to start with and so we've got tons of production on this map so one of the things that um i can never remember which key it is um no it's not that one um i cannot remember how it is to bring up the season's menu so i'm going dim here it's actually on the screen one of the things you notice when you're doing seasons is winter's pretty barren got very little to do and also a little bit here as well um so basically if you haven't seen seasons before um the green is basically when you can plant stuff and the yellow is when you can harvest stuff and when you don't have anything you are kind of stuck for stuff to do um you know if you, these two things here i don't do popular trees it's such a pain in the ass to do um so effectively production is important
So protection is important when you are kind of in these dead zones for stuff to do with the seasons map. So actually, you know, you're doing kind of yard work and all that kind of stuff, but there's, you know, there's stuff you can do. And when you're playing, uh, at the moment, my seasons is set up in default, which is um, nine day um, seasons. And quite frankly, when you've got nine days, essentially of, of that, yes, you're going to be doing a lot of things. Most people tend to pick a three-day season. Uh, when we do our um, seasons-based um, episodes, we'll do three three-day seasons. Okay, so let's have a look around the farm. So this is the farmhouse, pretty nice Bavarian house. We've got fuel here. I guess it's fuel. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Got a fuel really close to the house. Having that much fuel is kind of dangerous. There's the power washer that's being placed. Um, we have our workshop in here, and then we've got our, our um, pickup truck in there as well. Um, we've got another shed here. We've got our oh, that's one thing we forgot to do actually. Let's do that um, rather than look around. So Equipment wise, we have a Fent 300 Vario, a Fent uh, 700 Vario, a Stoll front loader, and we have some attachments. We have a case axial throw axial flow 1660 plus a 14 foot header. We have a TDK 1600 Farm Tech Tipper Trailer. We have an Amazon Caltros 6002 2 Cultivator. We have an Amazon Crayon. 200 plow we have an amazon ed 3000 c cedar which is a cedar that can do sunflowers soybeans corn and sugar beets or maize for those people that like to call it maize i call it corn oops wrong one we have a great plains 3p1006 nt cedar to do the standard um fruit types um, that are not corn and so on and it has our additional multi fruit in there as well we have a grant coat ve 8000 slurry spreader we have a farm tech superflex 800 manure spreader we have a pottinger novacat 301 ed mower for the front of it or, or the back of a tractor we have a euroboss 330t forage wagon and we have a lizard pickup truck we have a joskin aquatrans uh, water trailer and we've got two power washers actually um that have been popped down and so there we go that's all the equipment um quickly run through that kind of got ahead of ourselves this is the shed with all the equipment in. Um, it does look like the front load has been attached to one of the tractors already. So don't like that kind of thing. Um, it's going to be a pain. We have a basketball hoop on the actual um, on the farmyard, and I missed. So there's a. Uh, so what do we have here this looks like storage it's got a board on there i'm guessing this is storage for straw grass and hay um that they've kind of put on so this is not a sale point but it's actually a storage location that's kind of cool there's a little castle thing up there we've got a nice woodshed very dark wood buildings by the way um kind of spooky a little bit but actually pretty cool now are these movable shelves no these are not the movable shelves so these are just normal shelves um we can put stuff on there uh we have a few things around here this is kind of um silo central as it were so we've got storage for uh, liquid fertilizer and seed sound light switch yeah um, we can open these up we can tip into there 
something going on up there, but I will have a look at that in a minute. We have liquid fertilizer and uh, seeds again. I think that's just a purchase sale point. Waybridge here, filling up point. Uh, I'm not sure what this is for. I think that's liquid fertilizer. Um, let me just check. What's that? Kind of looks like liquid fertilizer, but I'm not sure what that is. Okay, we've got our silo here. We've got a bit of everything in every one of these, actually. Um, so that's a little silo board. Um, we've got uh, wheat, uh, barley, uh, corn, uh, hops. I'm not sure what dinkel is. Um, Sun blooming is sunflowers. We've got uh, rapeseed, so that's um, canola. Potatoes, sugar beet, soybeans, um, and I guess some of the others. So that's there. This must be the tipping point in here. Strangely enough, there's a forage wagon up there. On the, um, that's kind of a weird place to put it. Um, first off, how did they get it up there? <laughs> um, drive through, drop off point for the grain, and obviously you fill up outside. Um, this is where your combine lives. A really odd piece of equipment up there. What have we got here? Oh! This is kind of cool. This is actually how you get up here. Oh, wow. That's a really cool looking tractor. I have no idea what it is. Oh, it's a fence of some kind. I'm not sure what it is. That's an old fence farmer too, I guess. A very old cone um, thing. But this is actually kind of, this actually looks really quite cool. Obviously, you can't use it, but it'll be really nice. Uh, I'm not sure what's up there, but there's a kind of a hayloft there. Okay, so we've kind of covered some of the buildings here. Uh, what's this? We have... Um, I'm guessing this is a slurry storage or something. It kind of looks like a slurry tank. More storage here. Um, we haven't even got to animals yet, actually. Um... Let's go find some animals. Uh, <clears throat> those are the main those are the main farmhouses. Um, so we've got the sheep over here. Um, standard sheep thing. We've got the upgrade sheep pasture. We've got um, uh, feeding troughs over here. We'll have load point over there, I guess. Um, we'll have a spawn point for the wool somewhere. Cows are over there in the distance. We do have something here. Quickly check this out. Um, ah, this is where the wall spawns. And they've got a pallet handler here as well. Uh, stuck out of the ground quite a bit, but um, yep. And we have water, I guess. We can. We shouldn't swim in there because um, there was a no swimming sign. But yep, there's some water. Uh, what's this? This is just probably um, storage point or whatever um good stuff up here we have actually no this actually might be something else oh no this is actually something else so we put water in there we put compost in here and we've got fruit trees which are giving us apples um that's interesting um i didn't actually figure that i thought that was going to be the wool spawn point but actually no that's this is an apple orchard that we've kind of got nestled on the on the side of the farm um here is our here are our cows so standard cow tmr location um we've got a couple of silage clamps down there three of them we have a mixer for tmr we put our silage straw and grass and we get uh, the good stuff out here um What's that? I say, there we go. 
two more weeks up and I've got sunken silos there standard farm stuff for that uh, grass over here water over here slurry tank here um, which is empty we've got um manure there this i'm wondering that's probably our milk um pickup location uh, so that's our milk trigger there um let's go we've done sheep we've done cows let's hit the pigs uh, pig food mixer here pig sty there water and pig food here we can see the cows in the distance there and what else do we have um we've got a gold nugget so this map's got gold nuggets by the way ah over here we have our manure we'll have somewhere a slurry tank as well um yeah slurry's here as well so that's kind of standard stuff a lot of standard fields around here let's try and get around the map quickly uh, let's head up here a Weinberg is oh wow they've actually really done this well um this mod is there's a winery mod um that's placeable and it doesn't really always fit so well on the map but what they've done is is integrated the, the winery into the hillside here really well um this actually does look pretty good so we've got a winery here it's pretty cool put good water manure and um, compost and you get grapes out and what's this here the second near cell point so it's fairly straightforward okay Berghoff Berghoff is not sure I'm kind of looking for what this does. Um, looks cool, whatever it is. Um, not sure what this is. It isn't immediately obvious. There's a guy have ah. There's a guy drinking beer here. Ah, this looks like again. This looks like a storage location actually um, yeah this is a storage location um, you can also put manure and stuff in there I guess um, second farm almost I guess um, here's the winery so this is the location for you to sell your grapes. You drop your grapes in one of the, in here, if memory serves, and you get out. Ah, this is good. One of the things I hate about the placeable is that basically it would hardly ever make anything because one of these. Uh, so you get three outputs. We always fill up first, um, but that's cool. You've got the part handles there, so that's great. Um, so that's the winery. Um, I'm going to check out this one here. This looks like I think this is related to the winery. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here that seems to be related to the winery. Now this is a drop-off place and sale place for product, I think, for the winery. Um, it's essentially a place you can sell it. Hit the sage work next. So what have we got here? We've got ah um it makes something so what we're looking for is a little sign or board or whatever train oh train nice oh this i think this map this review is going to take about an hour um, i just have this feeling it's going to take a long time uh, there's a lot on this map i'm trying to find um kind of the point where you can find out what this does um this ah there it is ha in the wall there missed it fuel and logs and get wood chips and board parts out so this is kind of standard sage work but just on the kind of 
um, gold crest type sawmill, which has been darkened as well. Pommes frites. I'm guessing this is a chip factory or a fries factory. Um, essentially, um, potatoes and water, pommes frites. Yes. So French fries for um, the Americans, fries for the French, chips for the English. Um, I'm not sure what the Germans call pommes frites, probably. Um, but there you go. This is a, a what I like to call a chip factory or a fries factory. Um, but basically, they make stuff with potatoes. That's kind of cool. Let's head down to McDonald. And we're here we have uh, a McDonald's. Um, I'm pretty sure McDonald's doesn't have an apostrophe. Um, can I go be careful of the golden arches? But basically, yeah, there's a McDonald's. Um, it's a sell point. Actually, I need to check that. I, don't, I actually don't remember if McDonald's actually has an apostrophe or not. Um, in the company name. Um, when they do their logos, um, the company, you know, like the building logos, is whether or not they actually use the apostrophe. Yes, they do actually. I mean, it's so small, you don't even notice. But yeah, this has actually made me see it. Um, and yet, normally, you don't actually see it. See what I mean? Um, that's made me see it. But if you look at that sign now, it's actually quite small. Right, so we're at the McDonald's. Um, let's go to this one here, the Webbery. Now this is um, actually a different model. So we've kind of used this um, spinnery alternative on Cherry Hills. They have actually changed it around a bit. It requires diesel. It has a big power handler on it. Um, usual stuff. Let's find. Um, takes in the wool here. Does it need these things? Don't think it does. Um, well, what I'm looking for is a um, little sign to tell me what it requires. There should be a little kind of thingy board somewhere. Like a status. Uh, I don't know it'll be, it'll be in here probably. Yeah. Door clips in. It's diesel and wool and you get fabric rolls. So they've kind of removed the requirement for you to have the empty pallets. Um, but they've added the requirement to you need diesel. Um, we'll take a look around the town properly as well. But um, Drax Mule is a sail point. Um, looks like a kind of what do you call it? Um, flour mill, basically. Um, I'm not sure it actually produces anything you can actually sell. Don't think it does. Um, let's head to here. The Edica, Edica Active Supermarket. We're in the shopping trolleys. Um, here we have our supermarket. And this is just, I'm trying to think actually. Oh, that's what they've done. So they, um, we've got an Aldi as well. Um, so what they've done here is the location on Goldcrest where you have the store has become Supermarket Alley, as it were. And you've got a Aldi, you've got the Edica, and so on. You've got another one here, I'm not sure what that is. This is a milk sale point, and it's also a standard sale point for other stuff. Those bin men look a little bit pale. Um, we've also got some other stuff around here. Ah, there is the sale point for everything. Um, okay, so this guy here, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, ah. This is the butchers. This is where you take your meat and sell it um, that you produce. Um, what's this? Conditionary. 
Uh, cake. This is the cake um, manufacturing. So obviously we're dropping off something here. Let's see what we can. Uh, if we uh, right round the back here, we drop off. Not sure what we're dropping off here. Sugar and flour, and possibly milk. Yes, milk, sugar, flour, and we get cake on the conveyor here. And right, this is the brewery. Here we have the brewery. Uh, Pollinger is the brand. We want hops, wheat, and barley. I think. Tipping points. Uh, we get beer out. Um, here's our bottles of beer. We got a little part handler for the beer output. Don't think we need water. Maybe we do. Let's just check the control. Uh, we need water as well. Actually, sorry, hold on. No, I don't need wheat. It's water, barley, and hops. Sorry, I'm getting a bit rusty. I haven't seen done that many German maps, so usually I'm pretty good with the uh, spotting water, but that's water at the end. Don't. The standard spinnery is here. They've kind of reworked it a little bit, but it's in the, stand, in the same location as um, before. They've kind of tweaked it a tad. Uh, we have a fuel cell point. We have what garage have we got here? Uh, RL, which I'm guessing is a German brand uh, for fuel. Um, it is kind of the standard model just kind of updated with the branding and everything else it's a fuel sale point and a fuel uh, purchase point uh what have we got here um restaurant and beer garden so this is a sale point drop off location there you can see the town is very much a um they've left some things as they were on on Goldcrest, obviously the Maplefield pilot, for instance. Um, but they have changed a bunch of stuff. This is, I'm guessing, what is this one? Where are we? Marketplace. I'm guessing. Uh, sale point for eggs and other goods. Can we done here, and there's some people sat having a a break. Backmire. Not sh ah, bakery, bakery. This is the bakery, I think. Um, right, I'm looking for a little construction site going on over there. Um, ah, that's what I'm looking for. So, uh, flour, uh, sunflowers, dinkle, which I'm not quite sure is, and then you get bread. Um, drop off locations for both of these here. Two trigger points quite close together, and then uh we have that so we have a big pallet handler right we're at lu lu ah we see a compass master let's just quickly check that out we have a compass master it has a little silo funnel so you can dump it out into the thing standard stuff although this compass master doesn't appear i will double check Right, just takes waste and gives you compost. It doesn't require diesel. We have a bunch of stuff here, by the way. Um, we have over there. I think we've got a we've got a pretty big storage shed here. This is actually huge. Um, and there's a vehicle maintenance shop thing there. Um, big yard, big big yard. Um, we have a um, fermenter, so drop in chaff and stuff there, get out uh, stuff. We have a fuel uh, there. We have, there's an output. This is a silo. It's a great big silo here. Great big silo. So there's a bunch of silos on this map, which is pretty cool. They're scattered all over the place, but there's a bunch of silos. That's really good. 
So you fill one up, you can fill up the others. This is like another farmyard. Um, what we've got going on here. It's a pretty big one. There's a little farmhouse here as well. Um, so it's like a second farmyard. Um, a pretty big one at that. Um, I'm not sure what that but this is. But, I, ah, this is the cast off food ink. Um, it's got the fence. I hate the fence. Um, it makes turning with an, a semi trailer really difficult. If they've extended out the tip zone here, um, then good. But if it's a standard tip zone, which is literally about here on the map, this fence is a nightmare. Um, I actually removed it off the uh, placeable that I dropped on uh, Cherry Hills so that I could literally get play, you know, I could um, essentially just deal with this thing. Um, okay, we've got the shop next. So this is the Baywa Technique. Um, again, another gym brand, I believe, uh, or European brand. Uh, this is your purveyor of fine farming machinery. Um, got a bunch of bits around here. Gas station next door. Bit of space around the back. Various bits of farm machinery stuck around, which we can't use, obviously. Something called spreader. Um, we're even gonna. I wonder if this actually works. Got a car wash. Um, pretty cool. I wonder if it actually works. A big wash. That would be actually cool if that works. That actually works. That'd be really quite cool. Um. So, next stop is here. This is the Animal Dealer. Uh, it is almost the same model as in Goldcrest. They've kind of tweaked it, changed the colours, changed the logos, moved the cow from the roof to the ground. It looks good. Um, we've got uh, what was, I think, Mary's Farm. It's now something else. Um, we've got another thing here. What have we got? This is water oh this does something what have we got here maize water food fish oh oh this is the fish sweet that's actually really cool that's the fish farm that is really deep so i'm guessing we've dropped something here maize or something that's that is so cool this is the first time i've seen a fish farm on um any map and this looks really good uh so you maize water and food i'm not sure what the food is and where that comes from i'm guessing you make it on the map um this is a standard sale point by the looks of it so yeah that's cool that's the fish farm let's check this place out this is um garden center we've got some greenhouses over here manure or compost and you get berries uh, so this is your greenhouses um mule so this is definitely this is the this is the flour mill um let's have a look So wheat and flour, grains maybe, probably all sorts. Sit them there and you get flour out. Got a little um, flour mill. Uh, so water wheel, I guess, down here. Yep, got a little water wheel. It's pretty cool. Um, right. Oh, wait. Oh, all my, we're on the uh, finishing straight, so we've got a shell garage here. Um, sell point for biodiesel and other stuff. We've got a Neto. We've got a, a Tom Garden Center, maybe. 
bunch of stuff here. It's the sell points. Um, taking a variety of stuff, I guess. Uh, I'm guessing manure and wood chips here as well. Um, obviously, we've got the Netto market discount warehouse type place. Um, we are going to be selling the milk, I guess. Yep, and um, other stuff too. Um, refinery is the next location. So this is our biodiesel refinery, dropping off um, oil seed rape or canola. Um, and we get forage out, we get diesel out, and we get slurry out. Yep. Now, I have a feeling this is a UPK type um, trigger. I'm not sure. Um, I've had issues with this type of um, refinery before with course play where you can't tip here um, but it's worth checking out make sure it works Brenari uh, I'm not sure what this is um, that's the output this is Biran Wasson water snaps osps, obsler I'm not sure what that is um, this is essentially a distillery you drop off your various bits and pieces and you get liquor out um, let me I'm intrigued so snaps is one of the outputs we know what snaps is it's kind of a fruit thing um, in terms of um, the other stuff so Biran is Berries, so as you're dropping your berries in there, and you also get out uh, hmm, Google Translate does not know how to translate that. Um, it's a kind of fruit brandy. Um, so yes it's a brandy of types fruit brandy so there you go that's what that one is not found the place where you get food for the fish yet um, did we check out this lot over here no we didn't let's quickly check this out so this is uh, this one's pretty straightforward so we've got seed production here so fertilizer and grain, you get seeds out. We've got a train, by the way, in the background there. This guy, you do fertilizer and water, you get liquid fertilizer out. And this guy, you put in um, manure and slurry and you get fertilizer out. Um, extra strong fertilizer plants can bite your head right off. Oh, that sounds dangerous. Um, so there you have your fertilizer. Let's just check this one over here. Um, so I'm not sh I think this is just another farmyard. Um, really nice little boat going through around the water here. Um, it's a big boat for a small lake. We've got a smaller boat. The train. This looks like a burner of some kind. Ah. Biodiesel home plant grain. Um, I'm guessing it makes biodiesel for you give it some kind of waste or something and it'll, it will um, do grain or whatever and it'll give you biodiesel out um, we have here a kind of I'm not sure what this is uh, more more storage more silo another silo quite a few of these here actually quite a few so that's this guy here so next thing is the biogas 
location. So it's done. Um, let's just have a quick look around. Yeah, so this is the kind of standard biogas plant from um, Goldcrest. Silage clamps in the middle, digestate over there, nothing really at the end there, and then above ground silo king here. Um, essentially, silage make money. Um, that's what this is. Um, we've done that, so this guy here. Um, this is a cell point standard thing um rafazen a rafe a pheasant um sorry if i bastardized pronunciation um, but basically it is a cell point for various items okay so we have the soy milk plant oh that's a much nicer building oh so the standard soy milk plant um has a really run down looking building they've replaced it and made and made it actually look pretty pretty cool that's a much nicer look so standard soy milk plant um you produce milk on the outside there you get slurry out you get pig food out and you get but you put water in you put soy milk, soybeans in and over here you drop um, diesel now this is a place this is the GE placeable version and the GE placeable version um, require essentially has opening hours um, so you can drop off um, stuff between certain hours and you can pick up stuff between certain hours I can never remember which way round this is um, but essentially between midnight and 12 I think is production and drop off and 7 a.m. is um thing. actually I should check this out because um I you know you do see it quite a bit this mod is a pretty popular mod um what does Gerham mean um goods out so goods out is between seven a.m. and 7 p.m. goods in is between midnight and 12 p.m. so those are the kind of overlap um, so that's that's basically what you've got here um, let's go to the mockery so we have a slightly tweaked the look we've got two part handlers here for the output of this guy it might, uh, produces milk and um, and the like uh, so you put in berries sugar and milk you get butter homogenized milk keys which I'm not sure what that is and get, ah, that's cheese and uh, then yogurt um, that's sort of milk location that is the actually this could be the milk location uh, and that's your kind of sugar and berries so they've kind of tweaked how this works um, but it is kind of the standard thing um, we've got two outputs here I'm looking for the other outputs I think they're around this side um, maybe not oh there they are around the back so the other outputs are back here and sugar fabric I'm not sure if we've done that yet um, so sugar fabric um, straightforward enough drop in sugar beet and I'm guessing water yep sugar beet and water you get sugar bags out here A nice logos pretty nicely done there's Sud Sudzuka now the interesting thing is I was trying to figure out so the fish farm needs food maize water and food now I'm not sure what the food is and more importantly how do we get it 
So we've got two kinds of um, of input. What is it? What kind of input? I don't know. Um, it's kind of intriguing. This one is bugging me a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm trying to see if there's anything we've missed that could actually point us towards the um, the food element of that. I think we've covered every sale point and thing. Um, let's jump into a tractor quickly. Check out course plate and check out our fields. So we have uh, field 12 is 1.94 hectares. Field 14 is 1.38. Field 15 is 0.85. Field 19 is 0.67. Field 31 is 10.34 hectares. So that's the fields that we've got on the farm. In terms of other fields, we own most of the ones close to farm, but ones that I like to get on uh, Gold Crest is I like field 20. So let's check this one out. Uh, that one is 8.54 hectares. It's 691,000. And there we have it. It's not far from the farm, so it's actually quite a good one. Um, let's have a look here. Um, this, these I think are new. Let's have a look at field nine. This is kind of new. Um, that's the seven point five uh, two two hectares. Um, well, that's, this one. So they combined a bunch of fields behind the town. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Um, let's see how big this is. It's ten point four four hectares. It's a little bit of an odd shape, um, as you can see, but it's quite a big field. Field 25 is one that's right next to, well, it used to be right next to the store, but it's no longer the store. Um, this I used to like this field. That's 2.96 hectares. It's got a sale point quite close. That was one of the reasons why I liked it. And it's also quite close to the shop. Um, okay, so we've got some good sizes here. Let's just take a quick look in the air at the town. The town's different, um, the houses have, have, have changed, there's also what looks to be a hospital down there, it's a helicopter on the thing, um, the, cha the town has definitely changed a bit, it's got, yeah, the, all the buildings have been kind of updated to more um, European look buildings, um, there's a new, this is quite a nice looking thing, oh it's a swimming pool. The swimming pool in the town, there's um, kind of churchyard, otherwise known as technically, as my dad would put it, the dead centre of the town. I'm sorry for the joke. We've got a circus in town. It's actually quite a nice, nice looking town. Um, it's definitely different from the Goldcrest um, kind of standard thing. We've got Obviously, we've got a train that's kind of just doing the loop that I think is more of a kind of visual thing. And then there's a train that you can use, which is over there. Um, we've got a diner. We've got an outdoor swimming area. We've got a football pitch. So we've got a basketball court over there. We've got um, a few bits and pieces. That's the bakery over there in the distance it's quite a nice looking town a little fire station this guy's running for um, the fire engines by the look of it or oh, they're running away by the looks of it um yeah it's quite nice looking town a bit of red works as well um so yeah this is the the new town as it were um kind of from the air it does look good so let's kind of just this looks like a nice spot um let's test out seasons so first things first let's try um 
let's try summer. So we're in spring, you can see the slightly lighter trees. Let's go for summer. So summer, our trees have gone a bit darker, nice and dark green on the deciduous trees. Obviously the spruces and the pine trees have stayed the same. Um, there we have it. Right, let's move to autumn. Trees have gone kind of the brown uh, in the main. Yep. Um, various ones seem to be ready to drop their leaves. Do I? It's quite nice. Let's go to winter. And the trees have dropped. Now, I am seeing here there are some deciduous trees which are. I am guessing not standard models from giants. So these guys here. So those have not changed their textures throughout the entire kind of cycle. So we've got trees that are standard giants textures and then we have some ones which are not. Ones which are not have not changed color. Doesn't detract really that much from the, the look but um, it's just something that's kind of a minor thing. Well, let's um, bring on the uh, the snow. Um, so let's add some snow. So we've added one layer. Um, as you can see, that's kind of just run across the the map. Football P pitch is clear or is it no so the roads are semi clear so some some places they're clear some places they're not football pitch is patchy so it's actually kind of cool what they've done is it's not total blanket but it's kind of it's caught on a good bit so you can see that's the first layer of snow so let's add a second layer it'll take a second for it to catch up and we get a little bit more snow some of the the patches that we had open have kind of it's actually well really well done snow actually see down there it's still pitch pits of road that you can see let's add more snow I should have two more layers. Uh, take a second for it to catch up. And here, now we start to get completely covered roads. There's no kind of gaps. Yeah, this is where we've kind of, the snow's got pretty, pretty deep and and everything else and it's starting to to fill up and all that kind of stuff interestingly the ai traffic um isn't a, isn't affected by the snow the bridges seem clear i'm not sure why that is um so i'm going to just add one more layer because i wonder if it actually makes any difference um, so we've got four layers of snow. Let's add five. And just check, see if that's kind of topped out. You see, it's actually it's done pretty well, actually. It's, it's pretty cool. Now, there is one thing we do need to check with the snow, and we'll head to the farmyard to do this. Let's go in here. Um, is we do need to check to make sure the buildings don't have any snow so this has a little bit at the back um, there's nothing inside really as the things so that's com that's okay the farmers wandering around the buildings have um, yeah he's kind of knee-deep in snow at the moment chickens are having a nice time uh, this is what I was looking for like a shed or something so there's little bits. This I do like this touch. It's not completely blanket, but it's yeah. So those are um, kind of covered areas which are not showing anything. There's a 
It's a dog here that's kind of wandering through the snow. Uh, let's have a look what it looks like at the animals. So obviously the slurry and stuff is there. That's kind of covered all the snow. Um, the overhang is actually a little bit off, but yeah, looks good. There's a little bit of drift there that kind of looks natural. So yeah, that's that's the snow mask. That's how it kind of looks here. Um, so this is um, we'll call this one a day actually. Um, so let's kind of just go up in the air and. Um, kind of look at the valley in the snow i'm thinking i'm going to end on the snow shot because it's actually quite a nice snow shot um so here we have it uh this was called intel in bavaria um it is a seasons compatible map i say i'm not sure how long it's been out but this is version four of the map um i believe version 3.5 and above is seasons compatible we're on version four. So if you can grab this and use that, I will include all the details how to download this in the show description. Um, if you like this episode, please um, subscribe. Uh, sorry, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Sorry, this is quite a long video, but there was a ton of stuff on, on this map. This has got a lot of stuff on the map, which basically means when it comes to seasons, you will have stuff to do in the winter um, because you will have you have be able to just focus on production because you'll have so many things you can do um so with that thank you for watching nice little map we've looked at here um definitely like it and actually might hit my shortlist for the um, series so thank you for watching have a great day see you guys next time goodbye